Breaking news right now, a mother and daughter are in the hospital recovering after a domestic violence shooting in Airway Heights. Our Nicole Hernandez is there now with the very latest on this investigation. Nicole, tell us what you've learned. Yeah, Tim, so just in the past few minutes, we've had the command post and the emergency management team come and show up to this spot here near Aspen and 10th. They are planning to get going on this investigation, figure out exactly what happened, but we did just get an update from Airway Police Department, Airway Heights Police Department. You can see that, um, that, that, uh, Excuse me, that trailer they're pulling in, that's going to be their command post for throughout the rest of the investigation. But this all started at 3.50 this morning here with, like Tim mentioned, a domestic violence incident. A two women were shot. A man named Zion J. Carter shot a mother and a daughter. This was a domestic situation. They don't know how the two or the three of them are exactly related, but they do know that they all live together. It was an isolated incident, but police are still looking for that shooter. Like I mentioned, Zion J. Carter. He's a 38 year old black male. He is six foot seven, 250 pounds with long hair and dreadlocks. Police say if you see this man, call 911. He fled in a silver 2018 Nissan Rogue. So if you see anyone under that description, call 911. Let police know do not engage with that person. They are considering him armed and dangerous at this point. The woman and her daughter are now in the hospital. They don't know the extent of their injuries at this point. But of course, this investigation is just getting underway here this morning. More uh, officers are showing up right now. We have a combination of Airway Heights Police Department, the Spokane County Sheriff's Office and Kalispell Tribe Police all working on this investigation. As they go through this, of course, and we get updates throughout the morning, we'll make sure to keep you updated. Live in Airway Heights, I'm Nicole Hernandez. Nicole, before we let you go, I kind of want to ask you, tell us about the area. Are the roads closed off uh, to any major roads right now? It doesn't look like there are, there are two major of roads right now. 10th and Aspen is the intersection that's completely closed off. It's mainly a residential area with a little bit of a park behind it. Uh, but uh, the, the biggest road here uh, is still open, so it, it might be minor impact of traffic this morning for people living in this specific neighborhood, but nothing um, huge traffic wise. And then one more question, Nicole, you know, we hear shelter in place. Uh, how what does that exactly mean? You know, does that mean that, you know, you really need to stay in place and how will people know when they can actually leave? Yeah, so at this point, that shelter in place is still in place right now. So that means just to stay in your house. You know, if you can avoid this area, please do avoid this area. That is, of course, because they have that suspect that they are considering armed and dangerous still out and about on the loose. Um, so if you can stay inside, uh, do. If you have to leave, just avoid the area. Get out of this area as quickly as possible. Nicole Hernandez gathering details for us this morning.